What is contingent evolution? The the um, uh, impact that um, uh, caused the dinosaurs to go extinct is perhaps a somewhat useful, though mildly flawed, contingent example. You could say that humans would not be here if it weren't for the the impact that wiped out the that dinosaurs. That's definitely the case. Well, but you might argue that at some point, something else would have wiped out the dinosaurs. But you get my point. No, it's, it's contingent. it's definitely the case. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I work in a natural history museum. We got bones <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. Here's the argument for yeah. that. Just hear me out. Yep. If you didn't otherwise know this. Yeah, yeah. Do you know when T-Rex went extinct 65 million years ago, do you realize more time had elapsed between the extinction of oh, yeah. the Stegosaurus right. and T-Rex than the extinction of T-Rex and today. Yeah. So dinosaurs thrived totally. for hundreds of millions of years. Yeah. If you say, well, something might have still taken them out in the last 65 million years, I don't think so. Yeah. Because it would have taken out a whole lot of other things and we would have known about it. Yeah. Dinosaurs were a highly successful phenotype. Yeah. Phenotype, is that the right word? Uh, no. But high, 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 highly successful branch in the tree of life, the collective things we call dinosaurs. Yeah. So I think they would have be, been here and we'd still be scurrying underfoot, not trying to get eaten for, <laughs> as a snack yeah. by whatever the version of T-Rex is right. that survived today. Yeah. Exactly. So so I'll remove any nuance given <laughs> right, and say that that is contingent. Okay. And then convergent is something like eyes. Um, oh, yeah. No, I right. got convergent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one where a highly useful feature evolves completely independently right. and to help to serve the same purpose. Exactly. So yeah. something that I find fascinating is you know, when it comes to the origin of life is the polymerization of amino acids or nucleobases, et cetera. Is that something that we're going to find is convergent? So life on Europa or Enceladus, uh, um, evolved to use DNA also. Is it inevitable? Right. Yeah. Or is there some other way to get that biochemistry done? Now, the best argument I've heard for DNA, mm -hmm. although I, it took me part of the way there, but I'm still skeptical because of the complexity of a DNA molecule. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, a geologist said, look, when we go to other planets, the geology is familiar, mm -hmm. right? A rock crystal of these atoms crystallizes the same way of given the right temperatures and pressures here as in there. Right. And so if the geology repeats itself, no matter what planet we're on, yeah. maybe biology will repeat itself. Exactly. And I thought, okay, I, 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 I threw a bone to that. And yep. I said, all right, I'll, let, me, let me hang with that for a bit. But speaking of bones, I got a bone to pick with you. You, you lumped Titan in with Enceladus and... <laughs> Europa. And Europa. Yeah, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> go no, no. on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> we, you're motivated by the search for life. That's right. Life on Earth everywhere has uh, needs, uses liquid water. Yep. There's no liquid water on Titan. <laughs> well, to be clear, there is. We do think that beneath the ice shell of Titan, there is an ocean trapped beneath that thick ice shell. But I think you're referring to the fact that on the surface, we got these liquid methane and ethane. Liquid, if you have liquid methane, you don't have liquid water. That's right. Just to be clear about yep. that, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, but it's not just a given that every moon is going to have a heated interior from mm -hmm. tidal forces. Now, I didn't do my homework on Titan before this interview, but is it subject to the same tidal stressing of its physical body as Europa and as Enceladus? Uh, it's a bit of a more complicated story, specifically at Saturn. And, and this is, the, the story is complicated. Titan, moon of Saturn. Yes. Right. So Titan and Enceladus and the moons of Saturn, um, when it comes to the tides and how much tidal energy they have now and have had in the past, it's a bit complicated because the various moons go through resonances, right? Kids on a swing set uh, kind of pumping each other up to, to swing in harmony or out of phase, right? Um, in the Jovian system with- Jupiter I system. In the Jupiter system uh -huh. with Io, Europa, and Ganymede, those three moons are right now in a beautiful resonance we call the Laplace resonance. So for every two times Io goes around Europa, uh, <laughs> Io goes around <laughs> Jupiter, uh, Europa goes around Jupiter once. For every two times Europa goes around Jupiter, uh, Ganymede goes around Jupiter once. I did not know they were in resonance. Yeah, and so yeah. that's what keeps their orbit slightly. So the, the system evolves to that because the, the dynamical forces favor it. Exactly, so gradually the orbits widen out and, and then Io 
starts tugging on Europa and Europa on Ganymede. Perhaps someday Callisto will be part of the party, but um, right now it's not. So that would complete the the big four, uh, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Ganymede and Callisto. And Callisto. Yep. The four that Galileo discovered. That's right. Yeah, the, yeah. The, I think we'll call them Galilean moons. Yeah. In fact, he called them stars, I That's think. That's right. The Medician stars. He was no idiot. He knew where the paycheck was going from. Because <laughs> <Right? Medici. laughs> so, so. they were just points of light That's right. that moved around yeah. Jupiter. and. Uh, why well, think it's a moon if it's just a dot of light? It right. looks like a star. So. Yeah. so he started off really well with like naming the stars, the, the stars of Medici. The Medici family was all happy. And he was like, oh no, these things go around Jupiter. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's under house arrest. Uh, so. <laughs>